Hey, I'm Fuchi and welcome to Tiny Kitchen Big Taste. We are in the final week of cocktail month here in the TK where we're mixing up and shaking up some of the most popular cocktails out there so that you can easily make them at home. And today we are in a New York state of mind. We are mixing up a Manhattan. Hey, there are no big apples in this one. Just a little bitty, teeny, tiny maraschino cherry. But uptown, downtown, midtown, wherever you go, bar none, this one is a classic. So let's get mixing, because it's time to bring it. So what you're gonna need is rye whiskey, sweet vermouth, Angostura bitters, a maraschino cherry, or maraschino cherries, and ice. You'll also need a Nick and Nora glass or a regular martini glass, a cocktail mixing glass, a jigger, a spoon, and a cocktail strainer. I just love all the crazy stories and myths about how some of the classic cocktails came about, and the Manhattan is no laggard in that regard. One of the most prominent stories puts us a creation somewhere in the late 1800s. They say it was created at the Manhattan Club in New York City for an event that was being hosted by Lady Randolph Churchill, you know, old Winston's mum. Well, they said they created it for the event, it caught on like wildfire, and the rest is history. Unless you believe the history that says she was preggers with Winsty in England so she couldn't have been in the States at the time. So it must have been Bartender Black at the Hoffman House in New York City. Or maybe it was Colonel Mustard in the study with a candlestick. Who knows? Who cares? It's a great drink. And if you drink, it's definitely one you should know how to make. Today, I am using a cocktail stirring glass to mix our cocktail, which if you don't have one of these, no problem. You can use a regular cocktail shaker or just a large glass. Both of those would work fine. To that, we're gonna add two ounces of rye whiskey. This is what was traditionally used in the Manhattan, except during the time of prohibition when they use Canadian whiskey instead. So let me take this quick moment to thank our very kind neighbors to the north for helping us out at a very tough time. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. To that, we will add one ounce of sweet vermouth. Vermouth is an Italian wine that's been fortified with a distilled spirit like brandy and then aromatized with some herbs and spices. It gives it a really distinct flavor. Then three shakes of Angostura bitters. And next we grab some ice. We'll throw a few cubes in there. And then we will grab our handy dandy little stir here and stir it for a good 30 to 45 seconds. That's gonna chill the drink. Also some of the ice is gonna melt into the cocktail. Then we're just gonna pour this into a Nick and Nora glass. It actually gets its name from the great husband-wife sleuthing duo of the Thin Man film series back in the 30s and 40s. I like my glasses chilled. I got one right back here in the freezer. We will strain our Manhattan into our glass. And we'll finish it off with a cherry. Now go get the recipe for this. It's available on our website. You can also check us out at Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. And when you try this recipe, please let us know about it in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Until next time, I'm Fuchi reminding you that if I can make a Manhattan in a kitchen this tiny, you can make it in yours. We'll see you next time on Tiny Kitchen. Big taste. Ooh, I think it was Professor Plum in the kitchen with a rope. Barn on this one's a classic. So suit up, mix up, it's time to get up. Shake it up. <laughs>